Oggi siamo a casa dei miei vicini, l'appartamento 303 e diciamo che... <ride> oh, scusate, non ce la posso fare, recap. Ok, oggi siamo qui a casa dei miei vicini, l'appartamento 303 e ho deciso di presentarvi un po' meglio perché... Diciamo che, beh, quasi tutti qua all'Academy sono delle persone particolari, però i vicini di casa sono degni di nota, quindi vi presento Dom e Isaiah. Let's get to know them better! So, uh, here we are, Isaiah, let's introduce yourself, Hi. and then Dom, you do the same. Uh, I'm Isaiah, <laughs> I'm Isaiah Brown, and yeah. I go to the academy. No, you gotta tell us something. We wanna know something. We wanna um, know something about I, your I, life, what happened, because you got a lot to tell. Yeah. Um, basically, I started like I was born in Seattle, but I moved like from Seattle to the Green Springs Mountains in Oregon, which is like tiny. And my next door neighbor was like probably a, a, a mile away. Okay, so that, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a mountain kid and I didn't really have any friends until I went to like this little tiny school on the mountain when I was a kindergartner and then I met like all the people I knew from there and just kind of grew up doing like little Christmas plays and just, I don't know, just like playing with nature. And, and like, how did you get into art? Um, well, like I said, the Christmas plays that I like started doing like amateur stuff, but i definitely got more into music as I got a little bit older and like started writing songs and had no idea what I was doing but I was worth trying and I was posting like these acapella cover videos on Facebook and it was so bad like the camera was down here and I was singing like One Direction <laughs> so like, cute. People, no people kept telling me to post more so they could like it was like a meme and like I <laughs> became the meme of Ashlyn and it was so <laughs> shitty because like i don't know, I, like, I, I went to high school after that and was literally the meme, and so okay, it, was, it was a little I rough mean, getting through high school. As long as it is talked about, yeah. you know, but I mean, first rule in entertainment. <laughs> true, <laughs> I guess. All publicity is publicity, I, I don't know. Yeah, whatever, whatever <laughs> but, they say, but it's like, okay. I definitely, like, at, in junior year, it was kind of like a fuck you guys, I'm gonna just do it sort of attitude, and then I started really making music and I, like, got my first guitar and started writing music on the guitar and like started screwing around with like electronic stuff and got really into theater my junior year too and like went through senior year doing music and theater and just like kind of not really giving a shit what people thought at that point because I had already been the meme so like there's no going there's no rock bottom from there because you're already at rock bottom so um, well you climbed up a lot thank you here we are yeah so now and then yeah senior year That's great. And what about you, Dom? Tell us something about yourself. So I was born in a By the really... way, I love the socks. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I was born in Orlando, Florida, and I lived in kind of a shithole <laughs> my whole life. Really shitty neighborhood, a lot of like drug dealing, a lot of bad stuff going on. Um, and I kind of grew up with the same group of friends. There was a elementary school, a middle school, and then a high school was like half a mile down the road. So we just kind of were the same friend group going through those um, three schools. But at the end of eighth grade, my mom moved to San Diego to get a better job. Here in California? Yeah, here in California. And so I was Cali. moved out. <laughs> yeah. I was moved out. Uh, I was moved a week before high school started. So I started freshman year with no friends, didn't know where I was, didn't know anything about this place. And it was really awful. It was really terrible. And how did you get into arts as well? Like well, in 10th grade, I started taking film acting lessons outside of, um, outside of school. And I really, really enjoyed it. People told me I was funny. People told me I was engaging. Oh, you sure? And I'd, I'd always, yeah, I'd always oh, like to kind of entertain people. He cracks me up. He's hilarious. So. I was always kind of an entertainer at heart, but through school I was trying to do law because I wanted to make money. But then I realized later in schooling that I would never do all the work required to. Do that. <laughs> it's, it's five minutes in front of people and like 20 hours of paperwork. So I was like, fuck that. And so through high school, my grades were like really bad and I was like failing and I was skipping every day. I skipped, I think, like 200 something classes 
by the end of uh, senior year, and that was quality. That was mostly <laughs> senior year was a lot of those classes. But uh, by senior year, acting had really become what I was focused on, and I'd been to LA a couple of times, and I just kind of fell in love with the whole big city thing, and it was just kind of amazing. And uh, my brother's an artist, and so I was kind of in his footsteps, but. Um, like, so you have artists in your family as well. Like, yeah. What do they, what do, they do? Uh, my brother is a music producer and he is, he's like licensed. He went to school, he got all his credits. Um, my sister is a flute player on the East Coast in a Philharmonic Orchestra. Oh, that's cool. So we might see you in the music industry soon. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do have a music project happening. But. And what about you, Isaiah? What are you doing here, like? Um, are you up to any project? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I was before I even came here, I released my first album, which was just like acoustic, and I was like, hell yeah, I need to keep doing this because I realized that the more you put out and the more you just keep doing stuff, the more people are gonna be like, oh shit, he's still doing stuff, and they're gonna start listening more, and so it's really all just about continuing to do it. So um, I dropped my second album here and got really into producing myself and then started producing and I've dropped a couple of singles and I'm still working on a bunch of different singles and I'm actually 2018 was crazy because I had a bunch of other producers reach out to me for my vocals and so now so, I'm sending them yeah. vocals and stuff so it's a lot of music on the side of acting here so I failing high school was like, I'm not going to regular college, I'm going to waste all the money it costs to go, I'm gonna not do any of the classes. So, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need something more Let's focused. Let's just be honest. <laughs> I need something more focused, and through you know some internet research, I found out about the Academy, and I did a couple of the open house tours, and I was really digging it, and it was really, it just vibed with me perfectly. It's exactly what I needed, it's only the acting, so none much. of the bullshit. Yeah, but, all the vibe. But, <laughs> I wasn't sure if my grades were going to be good enough to get in. And actually, during my audition, they did ask me about my grades. And I was like, listen, <laughs> I hate all of that. Please just let me act. And um, the audition went really well, I think. And then... I mean, you're here. Yeah, and then they, yeah, it went well, obviously. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm here now. So here it, it all worked out. Oh, yeah. Great. What about you? I mean, I was like about to graduate and I was like, I fucking kinda need to go to school after this probably if I'm not trying to just stay in Ashland. So I was like, let's just go to Hollywood. And I was like, <laughs> where, 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 where are colleges in Hollywood that I can take acting classes at? And then I found the academy and I was like, oh, it's all acting, so I don't have to do an equation ever again in math. And I was like, hell yeah, I don't have to do that bullshit. So now, now I'm here, but like, yeah, the audition, I auditioned in Portland. My mom actually like drove me up there and we left at like two in the morning and I had the audition at like 10 that day and I like went to bed at like five, woke up, auditioned for like some guy, I don't remember his name. And then it, they went really well and like um, he gave me his card and was like, yeah, we'll, we'll get right back to you. And then I was notified like three days later that I was accepted. So came down here. How, how long after were you accepted? Cause like it took me months to get to It was... Probably two weeks later, I was in the shower getting ready for work and I got out of the shower because I saw my phone was ringing and I was like, oh fuck. So I hopped out of the shower, I almost slipped on the floor, <laughs> I but I got the that. phone and I picked it up and they said, congratulations, you were accepted. So, so you basically just like shit yourself. I, I shit <laughs> myself, I, started I was crying. late for work, uh, I went to work. Uh, I called out actually and I went in <laughs> and bought food <laughs> instead of working. I was like, I'm not sick. I, like, yeah, all yeah, it was, I was like, like <laughs> shout out to every fucking one of you. I hate all of you. Should I, should we, should I talk about Kenebus? King Kenebus? Should I talk about King Kenebus? Yeah, what is it? Uh, okay, so King Kenebus is my, my high ass alter ego. Okay. And so my brother's a professional producer and he said, oh, yeah. I should make a track. And I decided it was a good idea, and it actually turned out really well. It's dropping soon. Uh, oh, you can give the like yeah, the info. Follow follow at Kanibis on Twitter. That's K A N I I B I S at Kanibis. Probably, oh yeah, probably we're gonna see you soon. We can see it soon. By it's the time, dropping yeah. hopefully this weekend. I have to finish up the intro. Um, 
But yeah, King Knievis is kind of my weed smoking alter ego. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was okay, go, I smoke. No, it's your rap alter ego. <laughs> no, no, it's it's really me. It's kind of an extension of who I am. <laughs> yeah. Because he's just all about the flex. That's all King Knievis is. Yeah. It's all about the word like ski mask and shutter shades, pink shutter shades, or and Gucci vapes, sunglasses. Vapes through. Should I do it? Mask Should I do it? I could do it. Bro, I could Pass me the ski mask. Bring bring it's under your light. <laughs> it's under the light. Yeah. <laughs> this is just kind of part of it, but... Where are the shutter shades? He's getting in I character. He's getting in character. I'm room. always in character. That's oh, you I'm are. Dumb. You I'm are. just Isaiah yeah, Brown. Like, that's all my That's a character. Is. He's in character, and you are a character. He just kind of blew it up through the aisles. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so, in terms of the future, guys, I have to ask you one last question. Yeah. And it is... Where do you see yourself in five years, uh, considering yourself happy and, like, satisfied with your life? Thank your time to think about it. Oh, I already know. I know, too. I already know. <laughs> I think about this already all know. Yeah, same. Oh, shit, my bad. I see myself in a fat mansion with a hot-ass wife and some dank cars and, like, a bunch of platinum-winning albums and, like, I'm on, like, a bunch of billboards with, like, movies and stuff. Realistically, though, like, in five years, I'm probably gonna be living in a studio apartment, like, still making beats and, like, singing over them and, like, Obviously being way bigger than I am now, but like just doing it, you know? And just, yeah, just growing it in. I, if, I, if I'm alive in five years and I'm still in like Hollywood and, and like LA in five years and I'm still doing what I'm doing in five years, I will be happy because like my biggest fear is just like giving up and I'm, I'm just not going to do that. Because like, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck totally. That, so. I say, yeah. I understand your yeah. soul level on yeah. that. Yeah. It's the biggest fear. It's not really like not making it in a short yeah. time. It's just. Not having the go? willing to yeah. continue. Yeah. Like I'm always praying, please. I just yeah. want to have the yeah. same strive that I have right now. Well, that's like, like that's just no, that's time. more motivation to just yeah. keep you going. Exactly. Just like constant fuel. I hope I'll never get tired of this because I mean, like, so far this is all I'm here for. And yeah. It's my life, and it's just the biggest, the biggest mm -hmm. gift. But anyway, I'm just yeah. No, I, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> I can ask you the same. King Knibis, so, aka Dom, or vice versa, as same you prefer. Thing. Same thing. <laughs> Knibis is my religious. Same thing. person, <laughs> different, different mindset, different lifestyle. Different same, lifestyle, yeah. absolutely. So in five years, um, well, I set a goal for myself when I was 14. I said, uh, when you're 25, have a net worth of five million dollars. And yeah. and for a while, I kind of was like, that's not realistic but there's so much money to be made and that's such a long time let's fucking do it you know? let's, fucking let's fucking do it uh and if okay if that's not achieved i would at least like stability you know yeah. it's never been stable it's it's just well that's that's the thing about living stop, like you know? here too right now is that once we're out of here like that's when it gets tough because oh my god yeah <laughs> that's we have the easy shit time. right now no yeah. bills no fucking jobs we got a loan we just fucking live here we yeah. <laughs> just hop on to yeah. be the, the people who live off campus have it a lot harder yeah you know? and you need i mean like they're ahead of us someone actually. told me today and i would like i just got the adult life slap in the face because someone was like yeah i probably need to get a credit card to get an apartment you need credit. To yeah, you do. Well, if you credit. don't have credit, you have to pay a uh, extra deposit on utilities and on your rent and on a bunch yeah. of stuff. It's more expensive without credit. So I was just like, <laughs> There's one last thing that I want to ask you, Isaiah. <laughs> okay. And it is, do you have something to play for us? Why, yes, I do. Oh, my God. <laughs> you happen to have a guitar behind right, you? Right, oh, right. my God. That was not scripted. This that was not, not at all supposed to happen. Scripted. Okay, <laughs> let's go. All right. All right. This is Unaware by Alan Stone.
I'll see you um, whenever I see you, I guess. <laughs> Peace out.